Hey, welcome to Friday morning's devotion. I'm so glad you're with me. I'm glad you took the time out this morning to watch uh, Friday morning's devotional. Man, I'm excited about today and uh, as I think about uh, many times uh, praying to the Lord on what I should bring you today. Well, number one, I brought you a nice uh, blonde flat white, two raw sugars, two shots of espresso, and uh, man, it's a good one this morning. I'm telling you, it is good. It'll keep me going all day long. That's what I like about it. Give me two shots of espresso, I'm good for the day. And you know what? We all need some, uh, we all need to kick in the seat sometimes, don't we? And I tell you, espresso will do it. But anyway, a couple days ago, I got these glasses in and I buy the readers. Uh, I need some eye work done on this uh, one of my eyes and from the car wreck messed it up. But anyway, I got these readers and I buy them and uh, on the top you can see long distance, the middle is for computer and the bottom is for reading. I have to buy these because I either lose them or I break them or I ask my wife, I lose them in the house somewhere. And uh, so I buy these on Amazon and they're pretty cheap and they don't look too bad. They make me look pretty good. But anyway, I was thinking when I got these how much, how good they were and how I could see and I got thinking about focus and refocus. I got thinking how that so many times in our life we get out of focus and it takes a little bit sometimes to get back in focus and sometimes it'll take a some kind of an ordeal in our life or it'll take us a devotional time in the morning to refocus our commitments and all the things that we have to do but you know, in our life, we have so much going on in our world that it's easy to get out of focus. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 reminds us this morning that this, it says in here in the Bible, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. The word seek there is actively pursue or to go after. Every day, you and I must make up our mind that we are going to actively seek the King. You see, to do kingdom work and to do the work of the Lord and to try to be out there and be an encouragement to people, to do that, to do kingdom work, you got to first seek the King. If you're not seeking the King on a regular basis, all, all these things that are going on in our world will cloud out our vision and we won't see properly what we're really supposed to see. You see, yeah, we do win at the end. Uh, Jesus is coming, he's going to take us home, we win at the end. But I don't want to just win at the end. I want to win on a daily basis. I want to be able to focus on Christ, the King, on a daily basis so that I know that I am powered up to do kingdom work throughout the day. You see, we can all get, get out of sorts. And so, James 4, 8 says this, Draw nigh to God, and He will draw nigh to you. God tells us to draw nigh to Him. Why? Because He wants that close fellowship with you and I so that, hey, not to do what Terry wants to do or what you want to do, but it's to do the kingdom work that needs to be done in this world. And so, even in Colossians 3, 2, it says this, Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. And so we've got to refocus our life. And that, if, that listen, friend, takes every day. Ah, uh, you ever wake up? I've had this happen many times. I used to travel as an evangelist. And, uh, excuse me. You ever wake up and uh, you don't know where you're at? When I used to stay in a hotel a lot, I'd find that I'd wake up and wonder what city I was in or where I was at. And now I do it at home, I wonder where I'm at. But anyway, you ever wake up in the morning, sometimes early, 4 or 5 in the morning, and you, you, you wonder what day it is? Uh, I think it happens more now because we don't have our regular services going, in, uh, going on on Sunday. And by the way, let me do a commercial break. Let me get out of focus here for a moment. June the 7th. 10.30 in the morning, here at the First Baptist Church, South Bavard, we will be meeting for our first service, 
since the China 19 or whatever it is they call it has taken place. And so you don't want to miss that service. I think it's going to be a great hallelujah, praise the Lord. And boy, I'm looking forward to you. I know I've missed a lot of you. I have missed seeing you. I've missed talking with you. I have called several of you uh, and talked with you. And, uh, but I've missed seeing your face. I've missed the elbow bump. I've missed this and that. But you know what? June the 7th, uh, 10.30 in the morning, be here or be square. And focus in now and put it on your calendar. Now, listen to me. I, I'll just say this, and I, I know I wasn't supposed to go over this, but you know what? If you're afraid, stay home. Or if, you're, if you need, you know, put a mask on. Do all you can. Do what you think is right in doing that. But you know what? I really want to see you. And so, but anyway, let's get back. Let's refocus here on the devotional this morning. Uh, and so, seek ye first. The word seek is actively pursue or to go after. Every day, I want to refocus my life on Jesus Christ because sometimes throughout the day, I'm going to get out of focus. I'm going to get out of sorts. And if I'm not careful, if I didn't focus and refocus in the morning, I know I'm going to get out of sorts uh, throughout the day. And so that refocus time. And so Jesus says in the word, whether therefore you eat or drink or what you do, do all to the glory of God. And you know what, friend? To do all to the glory of God, we got to be seeking the king so that we can do all the kingdom work for the glory of God. If we don't do that, we're going to lose out. And boy, I tell you what, it's easy, to, listen, it's easy to get out of focus. Uh, people make us, get us out of focus. Our jobs sometimes can get us out of focus. Uh, the news can get us out of focus. Uh, people we know can get us out of focus. Going to the grocery store can really get you out of focus. But just overall, we can really get out of focus. And when we do that, you know what? It not only affects your life and my life and our family's life, but it affects the kingdom's work. Because we're so focused on me and not on, not on everything else that's going on that we miss out on God's blessing uh, of that day. Because sure enough, God wants to send you a blessing today. He wants not only to send you a blessing, but he wants to give you a divine appointment. And if you've not focused on seeking the kingdom of God, uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God, guess what? You're going to lose out and miss out. You'll miss out on that soul. You'll miss out on encouraging somebody. You'll miss out on uh, being happy, happy with somebody that's down and out. Listen, there's people out there that are down and out and need somebody to be happy, happy for them. You know, put on that happy face. Hey! But listen to me. We all need to focus and refocus. I more say refocus on Jesus Christ. You know, if your family's out of sorts today, the best thing you could do, Dad, is you could focus on the king. And then bring your family together and refocus your kingdom life. You know what? It's just not Dad serving God or Mom serving God. It's all, it's the entire family. We're so blessed here at First Baptist to have so many families that serve the Lord. And because of that, I think because of, I know why that is, is because they focus on the king. And when the family is, in focus, is focusing on the king, guess what happens? They want to do kingdom work. And my friend, when we get involved in kingdom work, it is happy, happy. Woo-hoo-hoo, press it on, man. I'm going on for Jesus Christ. I'm happy, man. Amen, amen. You know what? I don't want to be downtrodden all, all the time. But you know what? There's many times in my life when I do. There, there People that know me well, there's times when I get low. But I find, if I focus on the king, that kingdom work will become first place. And when it becomes first place, I can be happy. You know why you struggle with peace? Your focus is off. You know why you struggle with worry? Your focus is off. You know why you struggle with all the news around and what's going on? Because your focus is on this and the things that are going on in there on the news instead of Jesus Christ. But when you focus on the king... And that focus is so intense. Brother, you come out of there. You, you want to charge hell with a squirt gun. That, amen? Let's focus today. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek first the kingdom of God. That's uh, 6.33a, and I may deal with the other part of it 
uh, next week, but that's 633A, but seek ye first. He has that seek first. Not seek what you want to do, not seek what I want to do, but seek ye first him. And all these things will be added unto you. What a blessing that is. What a blessing the Bible is. What a blessing the scriptures are. And you know what the great thing about this? This is Jesus' word. This is a red letter edition, amen? The red letter edition of the Bible right here. God's word, red letter. It's his, it, this is his word. And you know what? I love his word. I hope you'll love his word as well. I hope you'll sing the kingdom today. God bless you. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, I do pray, oh God, we all can get out of focus. But there is a time when we have to come and refocus on you and realize that you are the great king. And God, I pray for our people out there today, Lord, that you'll bless them in a special way. Keep them safe, I pray. May they realize that you are the great king. And may they realize that you have kingdom work for them to do today. May they be an encouragement to those around them today. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Hey, have a great, grand day today. I love you and I appreciate you. We'll see you June the 7th. God bless you.